Congratulations, class of 2022. I'm excited for you, and I hope you are too. Um, so whether, whether you're graduating from college or high school or kindergarten, you've accomplished something major. And you should really take a minute to realize that you did something great. Um, and so it doesn't matter if maybe you didn't do so great in certain classes, you have graduated. And this is something that a lot of people can't say. So one of the key things, like I guess for graduation, people like offer you advice, right? So my biggest piece of advice is to really just remember that having that education is a great privilege. Um, and you can repay the favor of this privilege by helping others. Um, and now you are in a position where you are able to help others that are coming before you. Um, so it might seem like, well, I don't know anything still, right? I'm still just like recently graduated. But remember that you that was starting in that, that first day of college, that first class or whatever, and how scared you were and how scared everything was. Um, and remember the people that helped you and remember the people that didn't help you and you wish you'd helped you. And don't be one of those people that like holds a grudge and be like, well, now I'm senior, I get to like, um, I get to torture you because I was tortured when I was a student. No, you remember your former self and you be the person that helps those people. So having an education is just this tremendous um, privilege and not only can you use it to help other people, but you have all these directions open ahead of you. Um, and not only that, but it's not just a piece of paper that you have. It's not just a line on your resume. It's really just a way of thinking. You have been trained to think. Um, so especially if you graduated from college as a, as a, in a science major or something, you have been you have the thought process in your mind of how to think like a scientist. If you went to a liberal arts school like I did, you have this wider, um, this wider understanding and ability to think and connect with people and think about things from a variety of different perspectives. And I think that having different perspectives is a really important thing even as a scientist, you're going to be working with people from all around the world. And it's really helpful to have those experiences of college of um, and later of grad school of working with people um, from backgrounds that are very different than your own. And so it's really the college experience might seem like this isolated environment in a lot of ways it it is um and that it's not like the real world but it really does it really can help prepare you for that real world and when you go out into this real world now you now have this this skill set that a lot of people don't have the privilege of gaining and so i am as you get older you're and more mature no but basically, as you get older, you start to think back. And so during the time in, when you were in college, um, you might have times when you were really stressed out and you're like, why am I doing this? Or you're like, ah, I'll just skip that class, right? Okay, well, that was never me. But um, you might have had those times and you might think like, ugh, I have to do this. Maybe my parents want me to do this or blah, blah, blah. But really getting this education is a huge, huge privilege. And as you look back, you might think, wow, there were some really tough moments, but those were some of the best years of my life. And having the ability to really just dedicate yourself to learning is such a tremendous privilege, which is why I am just so grateful that I get to be a scientist for my living um, and I get to really learn and explore um, questions um, discover things for my job and like get paid to do it and stuff. And I just find that like such an awesome privilege. Um, and I want to help pay it forward and I encourage you to do the same. So remember those, remember your old you. So you might have graduated, but you are still at your heart. You're that person, that same person that came in that came in, was all scared, didn't know anything. Well, you knew some things, but you didn't know all the things that you would later discover. And so 
keeping that person, keep that you in mind and be the person that helps that you. Be the person that helps that you that you see in other people. See that you in other people. And really do what you can to help pay forward the gift of the education. Yes, you might be paying off literally student debts um, for a while, and hopefully you're not, and hopefully that will get better um, with like better like educational payment stuff. Um, but I'm not gonna get all um, into that all here. Um, but education really shouldn't be so expensive, but it is very, very valuable outside of the money cost. Um, and so even if you are paying off debts, by the way. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So even if you're paying off debts and that sort of thing, you still, you still got this great gift that a lot of people don't even have the chance to have access to. And I think it's really important to remember this. Um, and so a lot of what I do is trying to really reach everybody, um, who, people who might not have the opportunity to have the amazing educational opportunities that I have. And so I can't just go out and give people money and stuff, but I'm doing what I can to kind of help teach people, um, to train people, to get people excited about science, um, to see themselves as a scientist when they might not be able to envision that future for themselves. So I encourage you to find ways that you can help the people, um, you can help others. You can use that privilege of your education to help others um, attain the education, to attain their goals, to succeed um, in the ways that you kind of might have gotten a head start in succeeding on. Um, and yeah, so I, if anybody is like, um, and in biochemistry, that sort of thing, I encourage you to join, uh, to follow the IUBMP training initiative really great group of students, um, postdocs, et cetera, um, that organize events and resources to help one another. Um, so I'm very, very honored to be a part of it and um, more information at the links provided. And so that was all kind of just like a rambly po like uh, rant. So I don't think I'm gonna be asked to give any like um, official commencement speeches or anything anytime soon. Um, but maybe in the future, maybe I'll um, get better at this whole like speaking thing. Um, but anyway, it's, I really just wanted to say congratulations. And I know I've been kind of putting a lot on you to like, you should be doing more to help other people. But really just take a second and congratulate yourself. Um, your hard work has translated into success. And I wish you all the best in your future.